In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how you can remove unwanted background noise when you're doing an interview. I interviewed this professor at this campus and we're in the student union. There's lots of activity going on. Even though he has a lapel mic, you're going to hear some background noise. Let's listen to these seven seconds and you'll see what we're dealing with. So we'll watch the videos at home and then we'll just do homework together in class. That's called a flipped classroom. When you hear that, you understand that even though we have the lapel mic on and we capture his voice really well, we have this other noise in the background. Now, if you want that noise to help identify the context of the interview, you probably won't want to change this much because it comes through pretty well. But if you'd like to isolate his voice even more, here's how to do that. We're going to click on the clip and click on the edit button above the timeline. Now in our new interface, we're going to choose the center option, which is audio control. And we're going to use our AI audio denoise, which until recently was simply audio denoise. I think that's marketing. We'll click on there and then click on the button. Now we have two options. We can either work on spoken words or basically music. This case requires spoken words. So we'll click on the left box. It will go ahead and analyze the audio. And this is what we get. There are six different sliders you can use to adjust the audio. You can turn any of them on or off by checking the box on the left. Right now I have click removal. And if I uncheck that, it will no longer be active. The value will not change. Now in this case, it did not activate the plosive removal. So I can turn that on and then use the slider to be anything I want or turn it off. Let's compare their recommended levels with the original level and then show you how to tweak them. Let's listen to the original. I'm going to click here and we'll click the play. And the students will watch the videos at home and then we'll just do homework together in class. Okay, that's the original. Let's listen to the fixed. We'll watch the videos at home and then we'll just do homework together in class. That's called a flipped classroom. You notice the, the huge difference because it's taken most of that background noise and just eliminated it in the context. Now let's experiment with this a bit. The biggest area where it decided it needed some change was speech enhancement. If you're not sure what any of these mean, all you need to do is click on the I and that will give you a brief description. This is basically, this will remove any non-stationary background audio noise. So it's up to 97. Let's uncheck the other ones and see what it sounds with only that control. I'll go back to the original again for a few seconds. So we'll watch the videos at home and then we'll just do homework together in class. Okay, let's see what fixed is with only this control at the recommended level. So we'll watch the videos at home and then we'll just do homework together in class. One control can make a huge amount of difference. Let's turn this down to 25 or 26% and see what it sounds like. So we'll watch the videos at home and then we'll just do homework together in class. That's called a flipped classroom. So I've, I've retained just a little bit of the feel of the room with 26%. You don't need 100% to make it effective. So you can take any of these controls. Let's take the clipping removal, bring that back in, and the de-essing, and uh, just try it that way. So we'll try one more time on fixed mode here. So we'll watch the videos at home, and then we'll just do homework together in class. That's called that's not bad. So you can adjust these any way you want to get the kind of audio feel that you think is appropriate. When you're done, click on the apply button and watch what happens. It will render it. It will split the audio from the video on my track. It does not ca cause the original to sound any different. It's still the way it was. And here I have it. It looks like it left just a little bit of clipping in. So I'm going to modify that manually here by moving my audio line down just a tad. And now I have it adjusted the way I'd like it. 
if you decide even at this point that you want to go back, you can use Control Z and it will restore your original audio. This is a great way in which you can modify the audio track in a situation where you have extraneous background noise and want to focus on your subject and what he says much more clearly. Let's play this one more time. And the students will watch the videos at home and then we'll just do homework together in class. That's called a flipped classroom. This shows the power of this tool. It's very easy to use. If you like the recommended settings, you can edit audio very quickly and remove any background noise that distracts from your purposes.